What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, me going over the brand new Heroes Arena season guys, but we're doing the Challenger difficulty today, so we're going to be doing the 4 teams or less Challenger clear, and showing you guys all the team comps, the strategies, and everything you would need to know for actually clearing Challenger difficulty, so let's hop into the video, and let's discuss. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing, we are on the road to the 50,000 subscribers, if you guys haven't hit that sub button already man, what are you guys doing? We just hit the 42k subscribers guys and now we're closing in on the 43k so definitely make sure to uh like and subscribe if you haven't already and with that all out of the way guys let's hop in and let's discuss the heroes arena challenger difficulty so i've already done the master i've already done the champion and now we're hopping into challenger now for challenger we're not doing a going first we're actually doing a going second guys so this is going to be the team that we want to run i have all my teams set up on the heroes arena here and i already have the videos recorded so i will put the clips uh later in the video but i want to discuss each of the teams and explain to you guys why I'm running each of the teams. So for the first team here, guys, the uh, Tower One is actually going to be the Seven Deadly Sins team. And remember, I mentioned to you guys, Jelly King is a staple. I've run Jelly King on Masters, Champion, and Challenger now, and even in Challenger, going second, he is still really, really good, guys. And so I was actually able to clear with Jelly King. So we actually are running the brand new Meliodas, Jelly King, Queen Deanne, and then also Infinity Merlin. And then for the card set here, guys, we are rocking the Seven Deadly Sins Basic Stat card set. Gives us five percent basic stats, increases damage dealt when attacking buffed enemies now for the gear set on everybody guys this is what i decided to run on my free to play account so i was rocking hp crew resistance so you know your general hp gear and then your crew resistance middle pieces so that's kind of what you'd want to expect here you pr pretty much you just don't want to get crit on right that's kind of the idea here when running this team so you're running like your standard hp and then crew resistance to not get crit on and as long as you have this set up on the entire team guys it should be a breeze with this comp i think this was definitely one of the easier going second like team setups that i've ever had just because of how strong Melly is and then also with uh, King doing his AoE damage as well and uh, yeah I mean comboing that with Merlin you get 15% basic stats here you get 32 from him and then you get 20 uh, technically all stats uh, from Meliodas as well so that's definitely really big and uh, yeah man that's pretty much the strategy right there guys for the Sins team right there alright guys so now that we're done this team right here guys let's move on to the second tower uh, team and I'll show you guys what we're actually running for that all right, guys, in 42nd team here, we actually are running the human team variant here, guys. And this is going to be with LR, Escanor, Transcendent, Bond, Green, Jillian, and then Green, uh, Excalibur, Arthur right there. Now, the reason why we're rocking this team, guys, because it's one of the better teams for Heroes Arena. I always say this, and, and it is a thing with the human team, is that it's a really good team, but it's also a really bad team. And the reason why is because it's all about lifesteal. It's all about healing up with the team. And it's not as consistent lifesteal as the first team that I showed you guys, the Sins team, because that team has a lot more lifesteal inherently because Meliodas is a boost unit giving 20% all stats you just have inherent 20% lifesteal on top of everything else whereas this team it only has the 20% from Bond and that is literally it and you have to lifesteal using that now with the rest of the team though guys I mean LR Escanor you know Transcendent Bond uh, let's show you guys the gear um, we're rocking attack crew resistance on Escanor you want to make sure that Escanor has the least amount of HP um, you, if you look at everyone else's HP here Escanor has the least amount uh, out of everybody and that is very very important because you want to make sure that if you're going to be running this setup that he does have less than Jillian for sure because you want him to get targeted later in the fight so that's very very important make sure that your HP rolls actually uh, land you less HP than Jillian and you should be good I mean everybody else should be in their standard gear so let's actually show you guys here we are running the attack crew resistance Escanor HP crew resistance transcendent bond HP crit defense Jillian right and the reason why we're rocking crit defense and not crit resistance is because she has no crit resistance at all so we gotta just you know tank the crits at that point and then uh, for Arthur here, we are running the HP crew resistance as well, like with the rest of the team. And uh, that's pretty much the setup right there, guys. And then for the artifact card set, we are running the human uh, max HP, um, which uh, gives us 7% max HP increase and decreases the single target damage, uh, you know, dealt. Um, by 10% on the team against us. So that's definitely really good right there. So yeah, guys, that pretty much covers the human team right there. Let's move on to the uh, final tower team. We actually have two teams for that tower because we actually did uh, have to use two uh, setups. So we'll uh, talk about it when we get to there, but let's hop in and let's talk about the uh, next team right there. All right, guys, so moving into the third team here and the third tower, we're actually are going to be running the goddess team here, guys. Now for the team setup here, we're rocking Red Tarmiel, Mayel, uh, LR Margaret, and LR Elizabeth. Now, the way we actually run this setup, guys, is that we make sure we're actually the lowest HP on Red Tarmiel. Now, this is very important to be the lowest HP on Tarmiel, guys, because he needs to be the one that gets targeted versus every other character on the team. Now, Mael is going to have less HP from the start of the fight, 
but because he has all stats increased when he goes into the fight he should have more hp as long as you are running a you know i think it's about a 20 to 30k you know hp difference at at the baseline so let's try to talk about the gear set that we're running here though so we're rocking hp uh crew resistance tarmiel just to have enough hp to tank some of the hits on some of the phases here because you will actually need it to be tanking you will actually need it to be tanking so that's kind of the setup that i ran there and then uh for my l here we are running attack crit uh crit damage with crit defense rolls so that's pretty specific right there but i mean it doesn't really matter necessarily because Mael himself is just really really tanky so you could still just run regular crit uh crit damage pieces and, and you would still be fine and then moving on guys we do have covenant Light ludos heal on a hp crew resistance set as well same exact setup crew resistance rolls regular hp pieces right there and then uh, moving on to elizabeth we got the exact same setup here guys so that's kind of the uh just for the team right there and then we are also running the goddess basic stat card set to increase our basic stats by up to nine percent which is obviously going to help for our tanking in general whenever we do get attacked onto the characters here and you know the gist of the team guys is we're mainly trying to you know get the heals with elizabeth to cycle through and uh you know make sure the team is healthy after doing a bunch of attacks and you know we have basic stat build up with margaret we have the uh you know basic stat build up with tarmiel whenever he gets hit you know so there's a lot of basic stat build up on this team and so it's kind of just a kind of a stally team where you know you buff up and then once you get enough of those buffs then you should be doing pretty well so that's the uh third team right there guys we actually do have one more team that i want to mention um because i actually did have to bring a fourth team in the run that i showed so i'll actually pull up the fourth team here guys and we'll uh, talk about what i ran there all right guys so hopping into the final team here we actually are running the demon team guys and assault melee demon king is going to be the setup we're rocking here now the reason why we're rocking this setup guys is because it's a very safe play setup when running this team because you pretty much are guaranteed to win the fight i mean with assault melee and demon king alone these two characters will have enough damage to dish it out on that final fight and uh the fight that i actually did pull it up on so i'll show you guys here um i'll pull up the uh, challenger clip here but we'll go to the very end yeah guys pretty much this is what the team setup looked like and it was on the actual final fight here so uh, i'll go back just to show you guys like what the team was looking like before but we're facing the catastrophe uh with Aaron team at the very end and so that's kind of why we're rocking this exact setup here um where we're rocking chandler Melasila, demon king and Melly, because you want this to be kind of not necessarily like a sui team but it's your last ditch effort team so it's like you bring us all Melly, you bring demon king you bring Melasila, bring chandler and you're just gonna have a lot of uh you know tankiness and uh, one thing that I actually did make a mistake with is I ran, um, I think at the end of the video here, um, I did run HP on Meliodas, which was a mistake because there was many times here where I actually did try going for the kill and uh, Meli just didn't do enough damage. You guys will see. So this is just like one example. Um, and, I, and I won't have this in the video uh, later on because I'll edit this out. But I had runs where like I would do the single target and Meli just would not kill. And that's on HP defense. So, or uh, HP uh, critical defense. And we'll show, the, uh, show you guys the gear. So uh, yeah, right here, if we go to the gear though, you definitely want to be running attack critical damage with crit defense rolls. I think that is definitely the better setup in my video. Um, when I did the run, I did HP and it was a, a kind of a mistake because it forced me to do uh, another extra card which i definitely didn't want to do but uh yeah i mean there is that guys so attack crit damage right there demon king's hp critical defense um we definitely want the crit defense rolls right there to tank those and then uh, malasia here is hp life steal because you want the 20 percent basic stats from her passive and then on the middle pieces here you are running crit de uh, critical defense rolls um to, to tank the hits right because you definitely want that and then uh, chandler here is going to be hp critical defense as well guys so just your standard stuff right there and that is going to be the final team right there to clear the tower so uh yeah man those are the four teams guys that we actually did run now what i'll do is i'll have the video play and i'll show you guys all the teams in the order so the tower one tower two tower three and uh all the towers will be cleared um with these four teams that i showed you guys in this video so um enjoy the rest of the clip guys we'll come back at the very end of the video and i'll give you guys my final thoughts on everything and uh yeah that is pretty much the uh you know ex explanation part of the video let's hop into the actual runs now
all right guys so that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment, subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this where we do heroes arena challenge or difficulty definitely let me know in the comment section below and guys if you want to see a champion going second video definitely let me know as well i know uh champion as i mentioned already was a lot harder um and and the thing is honestly i would just recommend you guys do this instead um with challenger going second because it's just a little bit better in my opinion but i mean you definitely could uh you know go second on champion if you would rather do that and if you guys want to see a video on that definitely let me know but other than that guys that pretty much covers the heroes arena right there and that's how you guys get the full uh clear here so just to show you guys as well um jp is on their second week but i did get my full uh 24 coins plus the 10 so we're at 250 so yeah we did actually get challenger on the free-to-play account so just so you guys know it is attainable man and the brand new meliodas obviously helps a lot with that so there you guys go man that's pretty much it and we'll see you guys on the next video man peace out and have a great rest of your day guys see you later man